guys, it's Shannon, and today we are going to be doing a diamond painting video. So I just want to apologize up front if you hear any hammering in the background. They are building a house right behind us and they have just been working nonstop. So I don't have any other time to film this video, so hopefully it won't be too loud. Um, okay, so what we're gonna be doing today is a completed and work in progress diamond painting video. So I've done these before with coloring books and I love looking at things that people have completed or that they're working on. And honestly, I haven't seen a whole lot of videos on YouTube of completed diamond paintings where like you have a video where you have a whole bunch of completed ones. Um, I hope that takes off and we start seeing more and more because that would be a lot of fun. But you know, we'll, we'll just, we'll do what we can do, but I would love to see some. So if you guys have any completed diamond painting videos or know of any, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know because I'd love to check them out. But today we're going to go ahead and get through all these. So all of these were completed in the month of June and we're just going to take a look at them. So if you're not sure what diamond painting is, if this is your first video, um, I have some others on my channel where I kind of talk about it and what it is. You can also find a ton of cool videos on YouTube, but it's basically you get these different canvases. You can get partial canvases, which is what this is, meaning the diamonds are only partially on the full canvas. So like this is painted, these are diamonds. Or you can get a full canvas, a full diamond painting where the entire picture would be um, diamonds. So I have this first one here, and I know I'm gonna get asked, most of these come from AliExpress. I did buy a few from Amazon, and I bought one at Michael's, but everything else is Amazon. So here is the first one I did. So on this one, all of the butterflies and the girls' dress and tights are done in the diamonds. And you can see with the light how they sparkle, and they're beautiful. This was a round diamond painting, meaning the diamonds or drills are round instead of square. So there's that. I get asked questions a lot. I personally think round diamond paintings are a little bit easier than square, but you know, they're just a different effect. Um, I think they go a little bit faster too, but I love squares too. So there's my first one. Okay, next up I have this cute little owl. This is another partial round. And this one, the entire owl, the little hat, and the scarf are all diamonds. It's just the background that's not. So again, just trying to show off the sparkle there. I have so many lights on in here. Um, I'm not sure if the sparkle is showing up. I hope it is. But there's my little owl. I also did this one. So this is a full square. So square diamonds, full, this entire thing is diamonds. So there's Tinkerbell. And I think this one turned out really great. So I know when you buy, like the bigger the canvas you buy, the clearer the image is. Um, and this is a really small one. This is only a 20 by 30, but I think she came out great. And this was a really fun size because it didn't take as long to do as some of the bigger ones. But so there's Tinkerbell. Now this one is super duper sparkly and it was a lot of fun to do with all the different colors. So I actually ordered a whole bunch more of the ones like this, but there's Tinkerbell. Next, let me go ahead and pull well, we'll go ahead and look at this one. <laughs> so this is, I believe, like the second one I purchased. This one came from Amazon. This is a full drill and it's square. And I just noticed one of my, one of my diamonds, one of my little drills is missing. And one's popping out right there. So be careful with that because some could pop out and then you're missing them. Um, one thing you can do after you're complete, whoa, look, I just pushed one out. Oh no, my works in progress just fell on the floor. Okay, one of the things that you can do, look, I have, that's what one of the little diamonds looks like. Um, when you're finished with these, you can take like a rolling pin or a craft roller and roll it over your project and that'll help stick the things down to the glue on the canvas even better. Of course, if you frame these and put them by, behind glass, then you know they'll be fine too. 
But here's the rose from Beauty and the Beast sitting in the West Wing, is it? <laughs> and it is just super duper sparkly this is a really big one um it took a long time to complete but it's beautiful i love it and it was a lot of fun okay next up is going to be the saddest one i ever received <laughs> this is a partial of mickey and minnie and you can see only mickey and minnie and the eiffel tower are diamonds the rest is just printed so this one took like I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to do, and that was it. So that was a little disappointing. I mean, it's a super cute picture, so it would be really nice to hang on the wall, but yeah, not much work to do on that one. Okay, next up we have New York, which yay, as you guys watch this, I'm gonna be in New York. <laughs> so this is New York City. We have the Statue of Liberty. We have the city scene behind here. And then of course, all the fireworks up in the sky. It's a celebration. It's beautiful. I loved this one. This is a round. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, this was a round and this was a square. And Tinkerbell, I think I said was a square. So this one was a tremendous amount of fun to do. Again, it had a ton of beautiful, bright colors and um, it was just a lot of fun. I love New York City. Can't wait to be there. So that was a fun one to do. Next up, this is a partial round, but again, um, like the owl, this one, the only thing that's not diamonds is this little bit of bubbles here in the background. So all of the kitties, are diamonds so there you go there's the purple kitty you can see the glitter effect this one was a lot of fun too again just really colorful i really like the colorful ones okay this is a another partial round the entire kitty is made up of little diamonds or resins or drills whatever you like to call them just the little beads so my son nicknamed this one the Skittles cat because it looks like a bag of Skittles burst over the kitty. So that one was a lot of fun. And my last completed one is this one. It's the very first one I did. This is from Michael's Craft Store. It's the Diamond Dots brand. So this is a partial round. So all of these blue butterflies are printed and then just this big colorful butterfly is the diamonds. And this, it, this is the one that got me hooked. This is the one that started it all. And I have to film a bunch of hauls for you guys because I kind of went overboard and I have something like 60 diamond paintings now. I stand by it's not my fault because they were really inexpensive. And I kind of went nuts and I bought a bunch and then the, a couple stores put them on sale, like beautiful ones, like this one. Um, let me show you. Like this one, this size right here, they put on sale for $4 free shipping, $4 for this whole thing. And I'm like, I have to buy them all because it's $4. I mean, that's hours and hours of fun for $4. So it's not my fault. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. Okay, let's move on to my works in progress. I have to try to get them off the floor. I got one. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. <laughs> Okay, so this is kind of what they look like when you get them. Um, they either have a clear cover or the opaque cover. This one is right here. This one came from Amazon too, this squaler. Squaler, squaler, however you say that. I really like this brand. They're the ones that did the Beauty and the Beast Rose and I have this one by them too. So it's gonna be this woman from the back. Um, we're looking at her and there's just like a bunch of fall trees. So let me show you my progress. I haven't done any up there. I'm just gonna peel the whole thing off. <laughs> okay, so you can see the sticky glue there. That's what your little diamonds stick to. And as far as progress goes, I'll kind of hold this up so you can see. I have some diamonds down there done and about halfway up. So basically right now only orange and red are done. So I have a lot of work left to do on this one. Cover that back up. Cause you don't want to leave it uncovered because then like dust and whatnot will settle on your canvas and then it'll make it really hard to do. Okay, this is my other 
work in progress. <laughs> this one is so much fun, but it is huge. It's a 40 by 50. Um, it's taking forever to do. <laughs> it has this really cute husky dog and a polar bear and some penguins down here at the bottom. And let's see, it's gonna be hard to show you my progress, but this whole section here is completed. So that's cool. And you know, there you go. A lot of people will do canvases like this section by section. And I do that a lot of times unless my picture has a lot of colors and I get tired of changing colors, then I just pull off the sheet and look for every symbol of the color I'm working on. So that's what happened. So this started off doing, you know, each section and then now I'm just kind of, I'm going over the entire canvas. So you can kind of see where I have diamonds, everywhere you see a little symbol showing, of course, there isn't a diamond there yet. So I have a lot of work left to do on this one. This one is taking a long time. Now this is probably the most expensive one I have purchased this far or thus far. So I don't mind taking my time and enjoying it because, you know, it was expensive. Okay, one more. Let me see if I can get it. This is not staying. Stay. Okay. Oh, the other one fell far. Hold on. It fell on the floor, sticky side up, which is horrible. Hopefully I don't have stuff. Okay, this is my last work in progress. This one is a 70 by 20, so it's really long and skinny. Um, I'll show you right here. I have, mm, hold on. Let me remove this one so I don't accidentally stick something to the top of it. Okay. This one is a My Little Pony one. You can see it is really, really sparkly. It is awesome. And I have four of the six ponies done so far. So here we have Applejack is first, and then we have Rainbow Dash, Twilight Sparkle, and Pinkie Pie. And as far as progress goes, I'm working on Fluttershy. And then I'll peel this back. I just have Rarity over here to do next. So this one's getting really close to being done. Um, this one it has been so much fun to work on. It's a lot of black that you had to put here and kind of when you have to put a lot of the same colors, that gets to be a little bit boring to me. Um, but it, it just looks so pretty. And I also do all my drills one at a time. I don't use any of the multi-placer tools. So, you know, that was, that was a lot of little things. I think I counted it, it was something like 22,000 little diamonds that I had to place on here. So anyway, that's my last work in progress. So I hope to come back at the end of July and have some more completed and work in progress ones to show you. Um, it's already getting close to mid July by the time this video goes up. And we have a trip to New York and we have um, family coming into town, so I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have to do a bunch more, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. So what I would like you guys to do is leave a comment down below and let me know if you enjoy this type of video, if you want to see more completed and more works in progress, um, and if you want to see the diamond painting halls. So go ahead and let me know that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.